Hello, beautiful people. So today it's just me. I'm gonna do a makeup look. I'm gonna do this makeup look that I'm wearing right now. Um, I have some new products I want to try out. I have some old products that I haven't used in a while that I'm going to use again. So if you want to see how I created this eye look and how I made my face look like this, uh, just keep watching. So I'm gonna just jump right into the eyes and I'm gonna prime with the MAC Pro Long Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. This is one of my favorite ways to prime my eyes um, if I'm doing my eyeshadow first because usually if I'm just doing like a light look and I'm just doing my matte foundation and concealer first I'll just use concealer but this is the best if I'm going for like a more dramatic look I don't know I just really like it it's really good and the soft ochre, ochre is good if you have like yellow neutrally undertones and then painterly is good if you have more pink undertones in your skin so I'm just gonna prime my eyes I just like using my finger with this. I think it just does the best job. Um, I have used brushes before, but I don't know. Fingers just easier. It takes less time. Okay. So now that my eyes are primed, I'm just gonna set that with a little bit of Laura Mercier translucent powder. This is one of my favorite setting powders. I'm just going to take a big fluffy brush, where's my big fluffy brush, and just set that. Not going to be too bicky. Sometimes I'll even just use like a nude colored eyeshadow. But today I'm just using that there. Okay, my eyes are set. So now we're going to move on to the eyeshadow, and I have the um, ABH Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Palette. And I know when this first came out, there was a ton of, like, controversy, shall we say, on this palette. But I bought it anyway because, I don't know, I just, I thought the colors were beautiful, and even though people were saying that it wasn't that great, I wanted to test it out for myself. Sometimes when there's more controversy around a product, or when a product is talked about negatively more... Um, it makes me want to try it just because I want to form my own opinion. Um, you always hear praise for products, and that's great too, but I don't know. I just, I like controversy. I don't know. That sounds weird. I don't like that. Okay, <laughs> so this is what the palette looks like. I am very sad because I broke the one shadow down here. This is rowdy, but I think it'll still be usable, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. So, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a more neutrally, <laughs> go figure, toned eyeshadow look today. Just because I am running errands with my mom after this, I'm not like going anywhere. I really want to use this shade Adorn on the lid, so that's what I'm going to base this whole look around. So I'm just going to take a fluffy brush. Where's my favorite brush? Okay. This is the NYX, I think it's like 16. It's just like a blending brush. I love this brush for in the crease. And what do I want to take? Okay, so I think I'm going to take Dawn, which is just this like color up here. And just run that in my crease, let's crease a little bit. So the shadows are a little powdery. You just have to be very careful with them. You don't want to like really dip your brush into it. Just a light tap works. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Okay. So now I'm going to take the shade Roxy, which is like the salmon color down in the corner and run that in my crease. I think I'm going to take a fluffier brush, or just a different fluffy brush. <laughs> um, this is the Morphe R37, and I'm going to run that in the crease as well and kind of blow it out a little bit. I love this shade. I'm so excited to use it. I mean, so far the colors that I've used are blending pretty nicely. Um, I know there was some talk that these colors don't blend well, but the shades that I've used so far are doing pretty good. So I zoomed you guys in a little bit because I felt like you couldn't really see what I was doing. Now you can see my skin full on. Um, so this is the eyeshadow look so far. Now I'm just going to take New Wave, this orangey color. It looks like mac and cheese. <laughs> um, and I'm going to take a small fluffy brush. This is a Chanel brush. I'm pretty sure I stole this from my mom. I don't even know when this is from. It's number 12. I don't know how expensive this is. I don't know 
I don't know anything about it. Uh, but I really like it for just like getting like right directly in the crease. So I'm gonna use it for that. Um, just gonna take this macaroni and cheese color and just do that. So I'm just going to take a giant fluffy brush and just really buff all this together quickly just to smooth out any harsh lines or anything like that. So I do want to go and deepen up that outer corner, but before I do that I'm going to put a little bit of adorn down. Um, let us see. I'm gonna take this Luxie medium angled shading brush and just hopefully put that on the lid. All right. Wow, the glitter shades in this palette are absolutely amazing. Well, Adorn is. I haven't tried electric. It's electric. Okay, so there's Adorn on the lids. It's a really beautiful color. Okay, I'm just gonna buff this again. All right, so now I wanna deepen the outer corners a little bit. I don't know why I'm going so crazy, like I'm really not going anywhere today. Um, I can't decide if I wanna take Fudge or Rowdy and put it in the outer corner. Let's swatch Fudge. I know the darker colors people said weren't as, whoa. That's so pigmented. Um, or not as easily blendable. So I'm a little nervous. But you know what? Let's just, let's go. I'm not going anywhere, so why do I care? Okay. So I'm going to take Fudge, which is this, like, ready brown. It's kind of like a warm-toned brown color. And I'm going to plop that on the outer corners. Let's take this brush. This is a, what is this? Moto Pro Crease Brush. I got this in a boxy charm. That's all I know. Okay, so I'm just going to take fudge and pop it in the outer corners. I hope this works. Okay, so that's fudge. Um, there was a little bit of a learning curve with the dark colors. Um, when I first put it on this eye, I kind of wanted to place it on the top and then blend it, like, or place it, like, right in the corner and then blend it. Um, but you can't really do that with these dark colors. You kind of have to place it where you want it and then just blend it in that area. You can't really move the color around. So they are a little bit more difficult to blend. Um, the lighter shades, I just was, like, blending it back and forth and it was moving beautifully. So there was a little bit of a learning curve. This eye definitely looks better. Um, but it's usable. Like, I'm not super mad at it. I just have to figure out what the best way to use it. So I do really like that color though. It looks really good on this eye. This eye I just like... But you know, you live and learn. It looks a little better. My mom's gonna be like, why are you like full glam right now? We're going to the grocery store. I don't know. So I'm just gonna take a little bit more of a door and pop that back. Build that back up on my lid. I feel like this always happens. I'm always like, I'm gonna go like really natural today, and then I end up like this. <laughs> like, really? <laughs> so overall, I actually liked this palette. Um, the lighter shades were really super easy to blend. I really like the shades. The creamy, glittery shade Adorn was beautiful. I absolutely loved it. The dark shade was nice. There is a little bit of a learning, learning curve, like I said. Um, it was a little bit harder to blend, but once I placed it where I wanted it and then blended it, it worked really well. You can't just like put it anywhere and then blend it where you want it to go because that's not how these shadows work but I think overall the look is pretty nice I really like the colors so we're gonna move on so now I'm going to prime my face and I got a sample of the Smashbox Photo Finish Radiance Primer in an Ipsy bag and I really wanted to try it and I was like you know what I have all these products I want to try let's just film a video so I'm gonna try this out I've tried the normal um, photo finish primer and I've never tried any of the other ones mostly because it just didn't really work with my skin um, so I kind of shied away from them always, but when I saw this come out, I was like, oh, I, re I really want to try that, so. And then I got it in Nipsey. Go figure. Whoa, I was not expecting it to be, like, PG. Feels nice on the skin. It 
it's very thick you really gotta like move it around which I don't love like rubbing my skin a ton so but it feels nice am I am I glowing am I luminous hmm, a little bit okay so moving on so for foundation oh foundation and concealer I'm using all new things so <laughs> I am a true beauty blender lover, um, beauty sponge lover, I love all of them. So when I saw this funky little thing, what is this, it's the Cake and Bake Sponge at Sephora, I knew I had to try it. So this is what it looks like, we'll see how it works. I saw Manny anyway use it and he raved about it, so we're going to test it out. And I'm also trying out this um, YSL All Hours Foundation. Lynn bought it and raved about it. So I was like, oh, I need that. I need something that's a little bit more full coverage, a little bit stay all day. Um, I had been really into the, like, no makeup kind of foundation look, um, where, like, like a BB cream or, like, a tinted moisturizer or something like that. But I feel like for fall and winter, you need a little bit something more. Those are great for summer, but, you know, I just wanted something different. Also, my skin's been breaking out, so I needed a little bit more coverage. This says to shake it well, and I never really know what that means. Okay. So I'm just going to pump out two pumps. That looks about right. What I love about YSL too, too <laughs> is that all their colors throughout their different products are pretty much the same. Like they use the same numbers and stuff, so it's very easy to color match. Alright, this is kind of like a thick consistency. It's not moving around in my hand too much. But it's not like super, super thick like some like matte full coverage foundations are. Um, especially the Urban Decay All Nighter one that's like so thick. So it's a little less thick than that. <laughs> um... But let's see. I don't know if I want to put this on my face or just like go in with it. Let's just let's just go. Oh, I love the way that like luxury foundations smell. It just smells like fresh. Well, this one doesn't. A lot of them have like a florally scent, but this one smells like very fresh and clean. I don't know what it is, but why well, sell man? It's beautiful. Okay, the sponge is a little weird. Um, it doesn't really like pounce, it just kind of like presses, but I mean, I'm, I don't hate it. It seems like it's doing a pretty good job. And it like didn't really soak up that much product, like usually you know with your beauty blender, it's like the foundation color at this point, but this is just like slightly tinted, so that's kind of nice. I do really like this. Okay, should I try the other side with the brush? Why not? Oh, okay. Should I use my It brush? Okay, so this is an It brushes for Ulta. It is... I don't know. It's the Airbrush Serum Foundation brush. It doesn't have like a number or anything, or it got rubbed off. So I'm just gonna use this. I like this because it's small, so like it gets into all those places. So I'm just gonna pat. I never know how many weird faces I make while doing my makeup until I film myself and I edit the video and I'm like, wow. <laughs> I'm glad no one watches me do this on the reg. I'm just gonna put a little on my forehead. This foundation is amazing because although it is like medium to full coverage, it doesn't like look like that on the skin. Like it just looks like skin. No, I really like this. It looks really nice. It's not like cakey or dry around my nose. Um, it just looks like skin. I'm just gonna go over it. I think I like it with the sponge a little bit better than the brush. Just because it was a little bit easier. I just feel like it looks a little bit more seamless on this side than it does on the brush side. But I like it. It's very, like, smooth canvas, perfecting it-esque foundation. Anyway, I can't get this open. So now we're going to move on to concealer, and I got a sample of the Kat Von D Locket, that's what it's called, concealer, and I've never tried this before, so I was like, why not use it in this video? Why not? So, we're going to use it. And this is in the shade 
L11 neutral. It looks like a pretty good shade match. We shall see. Whoa, it's kind of light. I don't know. I've never used this before, so I don't know how much to use. We'll highlight with this, too. Why not? And cover these horrible things on my face. I like this doe. Whoa. I like this doe foot applicator. It's, like, kind of pointed, so you can really, like, get in. Okay. I think that's enough concealer on my face. We're going to take this sponge. I'm just going to take the other side. Okay, I don't love the sponge for concealer. There's my brush. I'm just going to use the Morphe Y10 brush because... So, concealer is blended. It looks nice. It's actually not creasing under my eyes. Well, <laughs> yet. Um, concealer always creases on me. It just happens I, no matter what I do. But it looks really nice. I thought it was going to be a little too thick, especially paired with this foundation. But other than on my <laughs> blemishes, it doesn't look cakey or anything. So, it's nice. Alright, I'm going to try and bake with this sponge. We're going to see how this goes. I don't bake, so... <laughs> I don't do it often, unless I'm like going somewhere, and then it's not really like a true bake, it's like I press a ton of powder under my eyes and then, I don't know, I'm just, I'm not patient enough for this. So, here we go. Wow, it feels so weird. Okay. So I'm just going to bake under the eyes, but then I'm just going to take this big fluffy powder brush and run some powder just like in this area. I have deep smile line so <laughs> foundation always creases there. Apparently I'm very expressive. I don't know. I smile a lot. Okay. That should be good. So moving on. <laughs> what else do I have in this box of goodies? So next up we are going to bronze, and this is the Hourglass Radiant Bronze Light. I actually, I love, I have two Hourglass products. I didn't even realize that I picked two Hourglass products. Um, I love Hourglass, like, I think they're amazing. I love their packaging, I love the brand in general. Um, but I try so many new products that both of these kind of just got pushed back in my collection. So I pulled them out today, and I was like, I haven't used these in forever. Let's do it. So, I'm just going to take this big fluffy Sephora brush. This is the Flawless Light Powder 50, I think. The, I've had this brush so long. First of all, I need to replace it because this is not how a brush is supposed to look. Like, it just it just doesn't even look like it's put together right anymore. Um, I've had this brush for so long, but I love the way it applies bronzer. So, I just haven't replaced it yet. Alright, so I'm just going to bronze and carve out my cheeks a little bit with this brush. Okay, bronzing is done. I love this bronzer. Although when I get like super pale in the winter, it's a little bit too dark. You really have to have a light hand. So I kind of want a lighter shade, but I love it for the summer. When I have a tan, it's like the perfect tone and shade. I'm obsessed with it. And I'm so sad that it fell back into my collection, but that's what happens. All right, can I take this off now, do you think? <laughs> We're going to do it because I'm sick of it. So let's take this fluffy brush again and just wipe it away. Okay. <laughs> so now I'm just going to finish up the eye look with some mascara. So when I bought this on Nordstrom, because um, I had a gift card, uh, the Urban Decay Troublemaker Mascara had just been released, and I decided to pick up a tra travel size of it. Mascara is one of my favorite things. Um, I'm always trying new mascaras, and a lot of times I'll buy them in the sample size, because a lot of times it is half the price, and sometimes they don't work out. And then what do you do with a full tube of mascara? I don't know, because I collect them. And I have a whole drawer dedicated to mascaras that I've discarded, because they don't work very well. So I decided to just go with the travel size, and if I liked it, then I'd buy the full size. So we're going to test this out today. 
I'm gonna curl my lashes and try not to be blinded by the powder that is stuck in my eye. So the brush is just, it looks like this, and it's just those plasticky bristles, which normally I'm not a huge fan of, but you don't, you never know, you never know. So this is how the mascara looks. It added a lot of length to my lashes, which I really enjoy, and it didn't really clump them up at all. So the big test will see if it lasts and if it doesn't get under my eyes, because that is a big problem that I have. So I'll let you know in the description box whether or not it got under my eyes or not. So we shall see. So the last two things I have are blush and highlight, and I've used this blush before. Um, I just wanted to use it again in this video. This is the Hourglass Dim Infusion Blush. I guess that's the color. I don't really know. That's what it looks like. So I'm just going to pop this on my cheeks quickly. I love this blush because it's just a light wash of color. I'm not even sure if you can see this right now. But it just adds like a little flush to your cheeks. So I really like a subtle blush. I think I've said that like a million times in these videos. But, you know, it's fine. And the last product I have to try out is the Kathleen Lights Highlighter Palette. And I've had this for a while. Um, we bought it when we talked about Kathleen's collabs and stuff. And I've swatched it, and I talked about it, but I've never actually used it. So I'm going to use it today, and I'm going to use this shade down here. And this is the color Night Light. So I'm just going to take my highlighting brush. I love a good, like, gold champagne highlight, so I'm very excited for this. Wow, that is beautiful. Wow, I really like this palette. I need to start using it more. I have like a whole little drawer of like my face palettes and I very rarely go into that drawer. I don't know why, um, but I need to pull this out more and use it because I do really, really like this palette. So that was all I had for you guys today. This is the look I came up with with all these new products and some oldies but goodies. Um, let me know if you like this video by giving it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Let us know if you'd like to see more looks, more us doing makeup um, rather than just us talking about makeup uh, and let us know which products you'd like us to test out in the description box. That would be great. Also, Lynn will be back next week. Um, I'm actually going up to Connecticut to visit her and we're going to film a bunch of videos for you guys. So she'll be back, don't worry. But thank you for joining me today and I will see you in our next video. Bye guys!